KCLR. Okay, welcome along to another episode of GAA Legends here on KCLR. We're on the week up to the All Ireland final, and I'm joined by none other than iconic legend, Callan Man, Mr. John Power. John, how are you? Great, Stephen. Great, Good. Great to meet you and, and, and chat with you. Good. And listen to me. We're in the week of the All Ireland now. We've a week left. Where would your mind be if you were playing next Sunday? Well, I wish. I'd love. I, I'd love to pull back on that jersey and get the. The opportunity to play a tip and brings back a lot of memories, you know, big battles that we had with, with, with Tipper area and, and notably the, the 91 final, you know, just uh, an unfortunate day. We were beaten that day and I, I, I maintain, I suppose, it was an All-Ireland that got away that that 91 team that Tip had were kind of on the way and they were actually better two years previous to that day, so... You know, that's, that's water under the bridge at this stage. It, it, is. it is, but again, um, I suppose near the end of your time was the start of a new era for Kilkenny Horland because you had Brian Cody was coming in to take over. A, a young chap by the name of Henry Shefflin made his debut in 99. Yeah, well, that was it. Yeah, I, I was fortunate enough to... I, I was actually dropped in 98, I suppose. Um, yeah. We, we, I won't mention any manager, but your <laughs> water go, water flows through the bridge and is over and done with now. But I'm lucky enough to ch- to have a, a conversation with Brian. He, he was actually training the village and got the opportunity to go back in in '99 and uh, to re- to try refloat make you know, inter county career and uh, got four wonderful years under his regime and and and. and to win an All Ireland medal with Henry and Noel Hickey and all that generation it was a it was a big treat, to you know, when I thought that maybe it was all over and done with. Do you used to the, the Leinster final in '99? I think it was against Offaly, was it? I think Henry scored one five or one That's six. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Well, Henry, I, I, I saw Henry playing the previous year in in, in club games, and and he was twenty nineteen twenty going on, and, and he would he showed promise that was unbelievable yeah. at that stage, you know. So it was no big surprise that he told me what he did. And, I suppose he wrapped his talent up in his dedication to the game, like, and, and he made himself into, you know, sure one of the all-time greats, really. Now, let's go back to your own time. I, I kind of suppose it, you're, you're like William Wallace, Braveheart, going through the middle of the field <laughs> into the forwards with this red locks fl- flowing in the wind, and well, it's iconic, sure. John. Yeah, iconic. well, sure. I, looking I, back, I, I suppose, looking back on it, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Oftentimes, I turn off a video uh, when my own young lads and own family be looking ahead now when they're grown up to not to see the. The scapegoat that was out in the middle of the field <laughs> to a degree, like, but ah, sure, it wasn't. It was just, you know, it was just real. But you were a, hor- a, a horse and cart of a man. The way his, uh, uh, I suppose, Ali uh, turned me into a centre forward, and, and he was always anxious for me to carry the ball and let defenders come towards me, like, and, and, and take, take him on and, and distribute. And I suppose I had a way of distributing the ball, and, and then I was lucky enough to. to to bump into a group of forwards like you had DJ and Liam Finley and Eamon Morrissey, they were wonderful players. Like, and they actually had me read before I had uh, the ball in my hand to know where to run and what to do. And like Adrian Rowan and Lee McCarthy, all them, I bumped into that era of players. Like, you know, it was a pleasure to play with them. But that was basically my role was to try to get possession and 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 um, and distribute it. And, and and I kind of uh, just linked into a team that that was the. The way forward, you, know. you, you had a good career, John. Ah, sure, wonderful. Yeah, in, in really, like as a youngster, like I, I, I never, like I started off at the club in the junior team. You know, we were junior at the time, and we were beaten in the junior county final in '85, and we went along then, and uh, we, we actually won the, the junior in '87. We, we bet Galmoy inside in the park, and I was lucky enough to get the call in for the '87 panel with my, my, and I still I won't win, and my team, as I call it. Um, the 82, 83 team, yeah. like Joe Hennessy, like I, I, I wouldn't, I, I kind of flicked to the man if I met him at high street in Kenny, I, I think he was. That's my prayers. Yeah, a great player, and like I was a teenager at that time going to Croke Park, and they were my team, like Dick O'Hara, Brian Cody, the manager That's on right. Sunday, Ger Henderson, Joe Hennessy, you know. RT Frank, actually showed reeling in the years the other day, the 1982 yeah, team. You know, that was some yeah. team, like, and, and they didn't have the comfort, like, I know this team, if they hadn't the back door, we wouldn't, they wouldn't be in an all era, but that yeah. team went on and won back to back. Um, all Ireland and went back to back league, yeah. you know, and and they were they were a, they were they were a mighty team, you know, and all schemes in the goal and like Dicko Dicko was you'd be afraid of Dicko in Would the you? stand, let alone out <laughs> on the pitch, you know. He he, he was he, he was a great player and Frank Cummins was in the middle of the field and you go down to the forward line then you had, you know Christine, you Liam Fenley, Gerald Fenley, Kieran Brennan, all 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 those players and you know wonder, wonderful players. But that's where it all started for me because I I was actually uh, going to the matches as a teenager at that time and. And, and and eventually after playing uh won a junior final in, in 86 up in Torles, 
uh, after winning the, um, the, the club one. And um, I got called in with Tash Henderson to be part of that panel in 87. And all those players was in. Like, it was, it was, it was, uh, I was frightened walking into the dressing room to sit down beside Jerry Henderson. Like, one of the greatest players I'd yeah. say ever played for the Kenny. That's what I felt. You felt fear, did yeah, you? Yeah, like, you know, you talk about Jerry Henderson had hands on him like, like, uh, like, like 10 claw hands. You know, he, he was a. He was a mighty man. You know. Yeah. I, 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 you know, I, I, what were training I, sessions like back then, John? Well, it was completely different at that time. Like I, I, I know Pat Henderson was after bringing it on a bit, like, but um, it was you just went in and you, you played your game and you done your bit of stretching and all that. But it was the the, the strength of the men that, that were talking yeah. out and the might of the men. And people say like that these players they wouldn't compete today because it's, you know it has gone faster yeah. and that. But I'd have no doubt of them men if they were if they were trained up a notch now and got extra speed into them uh, I, I, I'd hate to bump into them today because they, 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 were, they were mighty men you know Callan CBS obviously we're here at the minute must have played a big role in your oh, yeah, well that's it now Callan CBS where it all started from me and, and I know that the clergy takes a, a big a big hit from time to time but all, all the people all the brother Jacob and brother Don and now brother Damien who's uh, fallen ill at the minute and 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 just just robin he's fallen a bit and we're wishing and hoping that he'll turn the corner but they were wonderful men for me like the clergy yeah. you know the, the the brothers in particular and out in west court and i had wonderful days here like we spoke before the interview with tom Lynch there you know yeah men from abbey leeds that i never knew in my life came into the cbs and steered us along you know pat ryan and Frank McKenna, you know, and, and, and we, we went along here and, and, and were defeated in two B finals in, in 82 and 83 by Nina and Cashel, you know, and, and I went on then in 1991, 91 final to play against Michael Cleary and, and Colin Bonner. They were after coming from those two schools. So, you know, it's a feed into the whole si uh, system and that, you know, but wonderful days and, and, and great memories of the school, you know, and it is an iconic school in itself, like with Brother, brother Rice and brother Damien is actually filling his boots at the minute you know he's yeah. a great man you know he and and, and he, he's a big he have a big input to Kenny Hurland for the last 10 years as, as people you know saw on the television yeah, that's right Jackie that's Jerry, right you know he's, he's a great man so so he helped they helped shape you the man you were I suppose, oh the it? very team yeah there were great people great people in the school and, and, and you know for shaping us even for life after you know we, we had a great time here small school and everyone was inclusive and I suppose uh, the the one wish uh, going forward is that the, that the parish and everyone would attend the school. I know it is a private thing, and I, I, I would no way dwell on anybody that wouldn't. But you would wish that the, everybody to carry on tradition, yeah, to carry on tradition and, and keep our school and keep it alive and kicking. You know, because everyone contributes. You yeah. Know? And I suppose as well for a small school as well, it brought you a lot of intercounty stars over the years. Well, sure, that's it. Now it is. I, I know Kieran's boss, and I, yeah. I, I always compliment Kieran's. They, they they are the icon of school mm -hmm. in Kilkenny for producing players. But like for a small school in Callum, we're after we're after producing great players like yeah, you, Noel Hickey and Colin Herity and you know you have James Ryan and. Dennis Burton and 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 I I'd call myself I suppose and, <laughs> and a comrade of mine in two thousand was um, J P Kirker right, you know, yeah, yeah, and yeah. Jacko as we know him mm. very talented player as well and and he attended here mm. so like we have loads of players in contact with the county teams and we wish for it to continue and, and hopefully someone can fill the, the the void now at the moment hopefully it will obviously the game has evolved John as you just mentioned you alluded to it a few minutes ago we've moved on. We have helmets now, we have all kinds of techniques, yeah, yeah, strength and yeah, conditioning and all yeah. sorts. But this is the week coming up to the All-Ireland. What would you have been doing now this week? Well, sure, I suppose, uh, from my point of view, it's after changing just to 25, 26 mm. years ago on, on, on my time. Uh, like it was, uh, We were kind of caught in the bubble. It is very, it is very different now, I'd say. It is after turning 100% different because we were actually hounded by for tickets. Yeah. And we only got four tickets each, I suppose. And yeah. We're, we're barely catered for now whereas the players now they, they tend to give them whatever is needed for their family and extended yeah. family and get that issue out of the way it is only right though John oh it? no 100% yeah it yeah. is only right and and um, I suppose like even the all Ireland weekend they don't go up on the train anymore they all meet and have a wish of breakfast in the new park and like whereas ours we run into the train station fight off all the supporters yeah. and get your way up on, onto the train and when we went up to the lobby of the hotel you were kind of left standing there on the who you were room bush and if you had someone a wife a girlfriend or partner whatever you call it at this yeah like they were they didn't come into the equation they weren't looked after at all whereas everybody now is all them issues are being pushed away and and, and the panel was directly on the game there's there no team left for chance anymore and i suppose in fairness to nick queen 
he 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 changed all of that. Like he he, he was a, he, he's an iconic chairman really yeah. you know, for that uh, time being with Kenny and he, he he took away all side issues and all that and he wanted to give uh, Brian players that wanted to play hurling and no side issues and get him out on the field and concentrate on the game. So I think from my time to now uh, that that was all the issues are taken away and. Uh, food wise and the whole lot you know our time you could have 20 rashers and a half dozen eggs or whatever you like <laughs> but now you're you're told you can have x y and z what's good for the body on, yeah. the, on the particular day and the whole lot and i suppose everyone is focusing into that like you know that that, that sort of way and, and so and, the current crop of players john what do you make well sure the way it is with the current crop i suppose being true to, to, to speak the truth is uh, at the start of the year we were showing you know, uh, average form in the league. We didn't set the world on fire and the few, first few championship matches and the Leinster final. I suppose the Leinster final, in one way, being beaten we were, we were without Sean Murphy, the goalkeeper, and we had a couple of injuries. And they didn't beat us, be an awful amount. But typical Brian, when he was interviewed that night, like he put the Leinster final to bed straight away and said, We have another match in two weeks' time. We can get back into the championship and we can get back up on the house and get going again. And like, that's typical Brian. He didn't dwell on it. There, but he, and he said with the panel rotating it until he got you know he, he tried different fellas at different games and he he was getting like after being beaten you get the opportunity to do that and it's similar with the minors we stayed in the championship long enough to find your 15 and i think that's after happening a little bit with the senior team as well so you know they're they're a team that we didn't expect to be in in all ireland to a degree but they're there now and i suppose like owen murphy and parry welsh and TJ and Colin Finley, like they're four massive players, like, yeah. and they played a massive game in uh, with Cork and Limerick, and everybody else rode in. And I suppose if the same can happen on Sunday, like I, I, I think we're in with a hell of a shout, you know. Like, like TJ now is up there, he's the Lowry Mayor and the DJs, <laughs> and he's up there now up with all them players. He, he's a terrific player. But even skill wise, John, he's brought on another level, hasn't oh, he? Oh, yeah, well, sure, the way it is, he's like an octopus, he can't be knocked off the ball. Like, <laughs> he, he could be on the ground and he'd give a tip to the ball. And, and he have it in his hand. It's like a magnet. Yeah, yeah very hard to hold him. Like, and he's yeah. a giant of a man. You know, he's a big, strong man and a, a, a great temperament. And he, he's a great. Uh, it's lovely to have Michael Kenny for the younger players to see him because there's no arrogance in his play. No. He's a complete ball player and he wants to win. And and he don't respond to any you know aggravation. He waits his chance. And, you know his goals this year were, were second to none against Dublin and saving the park and that like. And I suppose everyone. Uh, Taught that you know that he, he had to do too much, but now he, he have help and, and like Colin Finley is in a great vein of form as well. I suppose the club all Ireland and young Mullen at twenty, like you know we're after going back for a younger generation hurling yeah. to add in, you know. So everything has helped. Well, they might be this generation's icons, but John, you were a certain generation's icons as well. So from all of us in KCLR and uh, wide public, like I said, thanks very much for speaking to us, and uh, I'm sure you'll be cheering on the lads on Sunday. That's grand, Stephen. Uh, pleasure and, and, and great to support the, the, the local radio. And, and, and it's awesome. It should be recognised what you're doing for the game every day. Brilliant. Thanks very much, John. That's lovely, Stephen. Yeah. No